الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين والعاقبة للمتقين أما بعد نمبر وان إسلامك هيستري فتح تيبو ألي سلطان رحمه الله فتح تيبو ألي سلطان رحمه الله was born on a Saturday 20th Zul Hijjah 1163 AH 10th November 1750 in a village 33 kilometers north of Bangalore His father was Hader Ali and his mother Fatima Begum, better known as Fakhrun Nisa, was from the Quraysh. Between the age of 5 and 19, he memorized the Quran and mastered the sciences of deen as well as military training. He displayed great valor as a soldier and became known as Fatah Ali Khan Bahadur. When the enemy launched an attack in the year 1767 AD, Tipu Sultan Rahimahullah faced them with an army of 7,000 and captured the impregnable fortress of Mangla. The sacrifices of Hadar Ali Khan and Tipu Sultan Rahimahullah can never be forgotten in the fight for freedom, in which Tipu Sultan Rahimahullah eventually gave his blood and was martyred on the 4th of May 1799 AD. Number 2. Allah's Pa. the octopus just as he had created the spider on land allah has created the octopus in the ocean it has eight tentacles and no bones in its body despite having only one eye it can see prey from a long distance off and can speedily attack it and suck its blood this is yet another sign of the power of allah number 3 a farḍ the jumu'a salah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, It is compulsory for every Muslim to perform the Jumu'ah Salah in congregation, with the exception of four persons. Number one, the slave. Number two, a woman. Number three, an immature child. And number four, the ill. Abu Dawood 1067 It is far of obligatory for every healthy Muslim who is of age to perform the Jumu'ah Salah in a town where the conditions of the Jumu'ah Salah are found. Number four, a sunnah, calling out the azan in the ear of a newborn child. When Hazrat Hassan radiyallahu anhu was born, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called out the azan in his ear. Tirmizi, 1514 from Hazrat Abu Rafi radiyallahu anhu It is sunnah to call out the azan in the right ear and the iqama in the left ear of child when it is born Number 5 an important act and its virtue the dua when awakening Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that a person's dua will be accepted when he wakes up at night and recites the following dua لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير الحمد لله وسبحان الله والله اكبر ولا حول ولا قوه الا بالله if he then performs wudu and salah thereafter the salah will be accepted bukhari 1154 from Hazrat Ubadah bin Samit radiyallahu anhu Number 6 a sin haram nourishment Hazrat Abdullah bin Abbas radiyallahu anhu reports that Hazrat Sa'ad bin Abi Waqqas radiyallahu anhu once asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to make dua that all his duas should be answered Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Your du'as will all be accepted if you make your food pure. I swear by the being who controls my life that because of a haram morsel that a person puts into his mouth, Allah does not accept 40 days of his deeds. Targhib wa Tarheeb 2484 from Hazrat Abdullah bin Abbas radiyallahu anhu. Number 7. This world. The detriment of having love for the world. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when a person is attached to Allah he will see to all the person's needs and provide for him from avenues he cannot fathom as for the one who is attached to this world Allah will make him over to the world 
Tamarani in his Awsat 3490 from Hazrat Imran bin Hussein radiyallahu anhu. Number 8. The Akhirah. The weighing of deeds. Allah says in the Quran, As for him whose scales weighing his actions are weighty with good deeds, he shall be enjoying himself in a life of happiness in Jannah. As for him whose scales are light with good deeds and heavy with evil doings, his abode shall be the extremely deep pit. How will you know what this pit is? It is the blazing fire of Jahannam. Surah Qari'ah verses 6 to 11. Number 9. Cures from the Quran and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Treating the kidney. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the reason for pain in the side is a nerve in the kidney, which causes pain when it moves. It may be treated with warm water and honey. Mustadrak of Hakim 8237 from Hazrat Aisha anha. A person experiences pain in the sides when he has a stone in the kidney. In fact, such pain is most often an indication of some sort of illness. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has prescribed that honey mixed in warm water be used to treat this. Number 10. Quranic Advice Allah says in the Quran, Behold, this Quran is the advice, so whoever wills should take heed, because there shall be no separate book for each one. However, they cannot take heed unless Allah wills. It is he who should be feared and he who forgives. Surah Mudathir, verses 54 to 55. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasrifoon, Wa Salamun Alal Mursaleen, Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alam.